Hello, neighbors. Tonight, I reflect on Volsunga Saga. Ill is it to sit and lament what cannot be had. Many of us are guilty of this, aren't we? Often, when we hyperfixate on things we cannot have, we often lose sight on what opportunities we do have. And when those opportunities slip through our fingers, we lament even more. There's only one thing certain in life. It will end. You're wasting your time. A limited resource that you have. I don't know about you, neighbor, but I've chosen to focus on a happy life. But in my 47 years of experience on this rock, I've learned something curious. Nothing ever goes according to plan. Whether you're envisioning the next year or 20 years from now, chaotically, the best opportunities of your life will present themselves. Make sure they get your attention and not something you can't obtain, at least for now at any rate, neighbor. You have to learn to duck and weave with that chaos. Sometimes ask it out for dinner, like me tonight. A love I never planned. A love I never know that I needed. And now I look to the future with another. We won't lament over the things we can't have. We'll just be happy together, making the most of it until it's over. My point, neighbors, is simply this. When you seek the unobtainable, life slips through your fingers. When you're older, you'll wonder what you were doing back then. Why you wasted so much time and missed so many opportunities. Yes, neighbor. Ill is it to sit and lament what cannot be had. Beware the coulda, woulda, shouldas. Because in the end, you didn't. If it is within reach or obtainable, go for it. If it's just out of reach, work towards it. And it's in these two areas is where I find the most chaos happens. And if you're lucky, they'll help you obtain it. Now if you excuse me, neighbors, I have a hobbit to go eat. Until next time. I said, I